Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and welcome to the State of the Game podcast with your host, me, Kajana Plays, Kev the King, and our guest this week, Mr. Cracked at Controller, Floating Koala. Thank you for joining us, man. Okay, so we're going to go over a bunch of new stuff with Season 11 just around the corner. But first, I want to give a special thanks to our sponsor today. NordVPN is the fastest VPN on the market, which allows you to get over 5,500 ultra-fast servers worldwide and high-speed unlimited bandwidth while using it, which makes it very unique in the VPN market. And in case you didn't know what a VPN is, it allows you to change the IP address of the systems that you are using to anywhere in the world to go ahead and better protect your account. This can be a major factor when you are playing online games that get DDoS attacked as it helps avoid DDoS attacks for certain games that give away your IP. It blocks malware ridden websites and secures your browser traffic without affecting latency which is absolutely critical when you're playing a multiplayer game plus you get next generation encryption. Not to mention the other great advantages for when you're not even playing games like going and browsing on Netflix which will allow you to go ahead and change the region settings so you can unlock all of Netflix's library and watch whatever anime, movie, TV show, whatever you want it's all there at your fingertips. Thanks to the wonderful people at NordVPN partnering with my channel. We are actually trying to make the internet a safer place. So now you can go to nordvpn.com backslash Smash or use the code Thornsmash and you will get a two year plan plus four months free and a bonus gift with a massive discount. I myself have used NordVPN and have nothing but good things to say about it. If you are looking for a VPN service and want a game securely, go ahead and check the link in my description and in the pinned comment below and try out that deal with the 30 days money back guarantee. Hey everyone, Novel here. And today I'm gonna ask the guys a couple of questions about Apex Legends season 11. Question one, with Stormpoint being the new map, how do you feel it would fit into competitive actual layout of it, but actual actually seeing a layout of a map and playing the game and seeing how it flows and how people like, you know, rotate and stuff is a whole different story. So I mean if Respawn learned anything from making King Scanyan, I would say just don't make this map anything like King Scanyan in terms of layout, because if it's like for ranked or like for pro matches. You need to have a map that actually flows well and doesn't promote too much third parties and too much just like unnecessary chaos. So um, I'm hoping that's going to be a good map for, for ALGS, for ranked, for like pro gameplay because whenever the pro scene is doing really good, it kind of translates over well into Apex as a whole. So um, yeah, I just hope it's a good map to watch some, you know, some scrims and some tournaments and stuff with. What I found really interesting about the map is if you look, there's tons of choke points. And I feel like it's gonna like we already complained enough about Kings Canyon, and like with those choke points, like Koala, how do you how do you see like rank going? Oh, it's gonna be fucked. It's it's over. <laughs> like there's no way it's just gonna be a good rank map. Like I'm I I try to be positive about things, right? But every time they release a new map, new map, it scares me. It genuinely scares me. Like Kings Canyon right now, like you said, is is not it. And this reminds me of Kings Canyon. So many choke points. And look, bro, look at the water. Like, if it ends, for example, like on the bottom left of the map, well, what is that? I can't even read what that says. Candy, I don't even know, cave? Something on the bottom left? Yes, yeah, if it ends cave. there, yes, yeah. people are going to have to Something go cave. through water, bro. And what if you don't have a trident? You're, it's over. Like, I feel like teams are going to die so quickly. <laughs> it's kind of like interesting. I'll be okay with it if it's just like one specific area, like Bloodhound's Trials, where you see, like, you know, you have to. Um, kill the prowlers to get the high tier loot so if it's just in one area i think that'll be okay i'm just yeah. happy that i'm playing arenas ranked and i don't have to touch this map for ranked so like, <laughs> like that. I'll, I'll definitely play it for pubs i'm very excited to play it for pubs and for content but like ranked i don't know we're, gonna, we're just gonna have to wait and see i don't think we can make big judgments right now about it yeah no, arenas I... too is a whole different topic like i really hope that i respond or something to arenas in season 11 because arenas right now is just so fucking trash yeah it doesn't work. You know, like, everyone who's pred right now, no one else can get pred. If you're, like, literally in Masters, it, it is literally impossible for you to get pred. Because wow. everyone's done the exploit so much that, like, you just earning plus 12s is not going to get you anywhere. Because people wow. have, like, 80,000 AP when you're stuck at, like, 12,000. And it will literally take you, like, 100 plus hours to get up, maybe a couple That's hundred. That's crazy. I haven't played Arena Rank since it, it dropped. Yeah. So. Don't, don't do it. I I, I I wanted to mess around with it, but like Koala said, like the the way that there's it's exploitable right now, it's a complete waste of a ranked game mode. Yeah, but I feel like arenas outside of like ranked, I feel like the actual game mode of arenas is just boring. No, like it's just the same thing. Like I feel like it needs some kind of objective, some kind of thing to switch it up because Take the it just gets too repetitive for me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. It just feels like I'm playing the same shit every time. 
although technically pubs is the same thing as well it's just like pubs has more variables yeah. in oh, it I, so yeah it, like it with just, a battle royale you can choose which rotations you want to do on the map but i feel like with arena is like it's well the circle ends here so we'll just go left and we'll take that area and hold it and camp it like i, I feel like yeah. it's really predictable what's going to happen it is predictable but it, it's a fair 3v3 fight i think and if you have like one pro team versus another pro team it's really fun to watch especially if they're not just sitting back and waiting yeah for sure yeah um but you were johnny you were saying something about um be, it being boring um remember we saw in the what was it the mobile version of apex tdm came out right and that's mm. eventually going to come out like hopefully to console and pc so maybe there's going to be a ranked version of tdm or a ranked version of like maybe they'll add domination in you know Bro, that'll be, be different i love that shit so much yeah that would be so good oh, i love that shit like i thought the arenas was gonna be tdm okay. or like domination i didn't think it was gonna be like this kind of you know round b system i thought it was gonna mm -hmm. be like actual tdm mode but yeah i mean they'll get it eventually it's just gonna take some time i think yeah if we're still playing apex Vita and you see <laughs> Oh, bro, I'm, I'll still be playing Apex. I'll, yeah. I'll be complaining, but I'll still be playing Apex. <laughs> you guys, well, at least you're not giving them money. Think, do you think they'll take the, some of the points of interest from Tropic Islands and move it over to arenas? Seems to be like oh, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. yeah, they don't want to make new maps. <laughs> That's easy work for them, man. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Question two: Ranked is getting changes according to Ryan Rigney about KP. What do you think would make ranked work better? Uh, Kings Canyon should never be a map ever again. We know this. We knew this three seasons ago. Um, the point system, I feel like it's been 10 bloody seasons and we haven't seen any single change for ranked. Like, that's ridiculous, I think. Um, I think maybe to make it more competitive and more quotation mark ranked, like just more competitive, they should probably make it like the AOG's point system where you get more points for placements rather than kills. Um, I'm pretty sure the AOG's point system is you get one point per kill. So for first place, you get 12 points. Second, you get nine. Third, you get seven. Fourth, fifth. And then every kill is one point. I feel like just making it more competitive and more professional will just make it more interesting and more difficult to rank up. And not only that, they need to add demotion. That has to be a thing. If demotion isn't a thing, people are just going to get to master and just grief other people because they suck. Right, they're just going to be 10k stuck forever. And if you can't be demoted, that's just it's just like fighting someone. If you're in pred, fighting a plat player is scary because plat players don't care, right? It's the same as fighting a, a 10k stuck person because they will just full send you no matter what because they, they have nothing to lose. If they have something to lose, they'll play for the win, right? Right. I think a team KP system would be fun as well. I think that will just like arenas, right? If you win arenas, you all get the same KP no matter how many kills you get. Oh, sorry, the same points no matter how many kills you get, how much damage you do, whatever. I feel like maybe if one person gets a kill in the squad, it gets divided into three people and it just gives you the points for that. I don't know. I'm not too sure, but yeah. I agree with that. John, any thoughts? I only really play wrong solo. <laughs> and the highest I got to wrong solo was like Diamond 1. And that was just painful enough. So, I mean. I don't really play ranked enough with the team to, to really know how to improve it. One thing I would say is that if, um, if like, Respawn were to move ranked more in the line with, like, how ALGs is, is scored, I could see it being a lot more difficult for solo ranked players because trying to get placement points as a solo player in ranked with teammates who just have no idea what they're doing is literal. Is that's, it's, it's, kill, it's, kill, it's, like, it's, it's pain. It's painful. But I do see what I do agree with, with what Koala is saying. Like, if you actually have like a, a solid team for ranked, and um, you want to really take it more seriously, I feel like moving it more in line with the ALGs scoring system would make more sense. My opinion, like arena should be based on your kills. It's a, literally a dumbed down team deathmatch. Yet my kills don't matter at all. And it's more Royale... round based though, rather than like kill based though. Like maybe if it was TDM, then yeah, but. Which they like, you know, they could add, but if it's round based, like search and destroy, I think, you know what? Maybe they could add bombs to the bloody, like, to the maps, like literal bombs that you could plant stuff. That's what like, I'm saying. Yeah. Bombs. Just change it up a bit um, to make it more like search and destroy, because what they made now is just like a slow down TDM. It's not even search and destroy, it's just a slow down TDM. Yeah. Really trying to kill. Yeah, for me, uh, I don't know how they're going to change the rank system because I don't know if you noticed the former um, rank guy, um, this guy right here. Yeah, the guy left. who made that call yeah the guy who made the coffee joke how yeah so basically he left and so that makes me wonder and kind of worry that did he do something before he left to make the rank system like better or did he just said you know what i can't do this so i'm just gonna leave maybe no changes are coming like maybe the changes are just really really small 
and maybe yeah. they've added like one KP yeah. extra. Or I don't see any major changes coming to around. No, me neither. Well, one of the yeah. big things I need to see them do at some point is add more rewards. Yeah, <laughs> I still have my the same dive trail from season eight, so I'm not too mad about it. I still want to get to Pred one day. I n- I never really went for Pred. Never had a team to go to Pred with, so I I can't relate to that. I I, I have Where are you no... from, Kijan? Trinidad. So like oh, yeah, you yeah. are you are five hours ahead of me right now. Sounds like we got oh, a yeah, new team. Yeah, like six hundred thousand ping. So. <laughs> Yo, my ping is always like 75 and above. Well, well on EU servers though? Yeah, and, well, on US servers. On EU servers, I get like 400. probably like 125, 150. Question three, Ash is coming to the games. What should we know about her history in Titanfall and Apex Legends? The story starts with when we first got introduced to Ash in Titanfall, she was working for the Apex Predators. And then she got crushed by BT. And then Benson Dynamics rebuild her. And then this is where, like, they haven't, like, talked about it. That's when, like, so what happened is that Ash got destroyed. Kuin Bliss grabbed her head and threw it into a portal where we go to King's Canyon at night. And then from there, we, season five happens, we rebuild Ash. And then in season six comics, what happens is that Ash remember, like, she got back her memories. And originally, I thought that meant, like, she remembered everything about her past, but the writers kind of retconned it where she only remembered her Titan days and not her full past. And fast forward now, just to, you know, get to the story fast, Ash now remembers everything. She's now back to to the original Ashley Reed, the one that um, betrayed Horizon. So I'm kind of worried. I hope um, the original Ash from Titanfall, this one, I hope that I hope they didn't just erase her. Like she no longer remembers she's Titanfall a- a- Ash, and she like you know. Not, I hope it's a hybrid of she knows she's Titanfall Ash, and now she knows that she's Ashley Reed. And so yeah, so I can't wait to see her. I'm actually really excited to see um the dialogue between ash and like horizon <laughs> when when like like um ash pins something for like oh here's a gun for you horizon i wonder what horizon's going to say back yeah kind of like a revenant loba kind of exchange yeah. between the two yeah i'm very curious about those lines and yeah so for her abilities i she's going to be kind of like rafe which kind of makes sense because they're both like phase pilot well so i can see why they will have the you know the same abilities also because you know they know um, Rafe is a high pick character, mm-hmm. and a lot of people play her. So they know a lot of people are gonna probably play Ash too as a character. So yeah, w- what do you guys think? Like if Wraith doesn't get a buff, Wraith is gone. Like it's it's over because like people stopped playing her when well they didn't stop playing her, but a lot of people like didn't like her when uh, they slowed down her phase timings. And I feel like now the only thing she's used for is for her portal. Like her, you can't really get out of many situations with um with her face yeah no it's got a long wind up and people kind of just track it yeah um i'm interested to see how asha's face looks Reed is already in a kind of iffy spot because they're just like so many different rotational legends i mean as koala said the only real reason you'll use Reed is for a portal right and now ash has a portal that seems more useful like is a dash so you don't even have to really like you know run you can just dash from one point to, to like another place and immediately have a portal open and a portal like close so like our songs insane like her all our abilities right now song very good so we'll see how how rate is in season 11 if people still use rate in like pro matches if the pros switch to ash who knows but it should be an interesting meta for sure when but, ash drops i've gotta say hey. i'm convinced mm-hmm. at this point that respawn fucking hates watson because if you look at ash's <laughs> tactical it's basically Watson's ability, but offensive. You you can yeah, shoot electricity yeah. and slow them down. That's that's Watson, but with mobility. Wow. Yeah, I just that's Watson's insane. You know, on the other on the other hand, I feel like Wraith might even be pretty decent on this map. Um, especially since there's gonna be so much openness. Mm. So maybe Wraith, Gibby, and Octane might be a really good comp for this map. Yeah. I could also see Val being if she can get over the mountain. Oh yeah. Being super clutch mm-hmm. if i remember right our good friend daniel klein he said he was gonna give rape a, a, a buff like back to her old self and i think that's because maybe ash may be like more powerful than her mm-hmm. when ash comes out so yeah so maybe the, the they might revert rafe back to the old her old self when she was like really good and oh, no, she definitely I, I doubt she'll be that good again there's definitely some changes to come in the future when people like like 
really asked for it. But yeah. I don't think she'll go back to like her old self. Just like Lifeline. Like I stopped playing Lifeline when she lost her main ability of fast healing. That made me sad for months and I was very upset and I couldn't find a new main for a long time. And yeah, I don't think they should change. I don't think they should be buffing characters. Honestly, I feel like they oh. should be nerfing characters to be ma to make everyone more equal, right? I don't think yeah, buffing. I is agree. So it, yeah, too much abilities right now. Right. Make an even playing field, you know. Question four: Do you think with all the new content we will get an LTM in this upcoming season? And what would you like to see? So, <laughs> hey. no. For me, the big thing is like, look, if you bring in a new character, that's totally cool. Like we've gotten Seer. We're getting ash like we've seen new characters every season and a new map is absolutely phenomenal and it's gonna be a lot of fun but if you don't do anything at the midpoint again it's over like no it doesn't matter how cool the new map is people and gamers in general lose interest very quickly at least on a casual level so i don't mm -hmm. I, I, honestly if you really have to if respawn is that pressed just bring back the season eight limited time modes that we only got to play two out of five of and then just bring back the other three that didn't work like that that would be good enough for me i just don't understand why they don't have them in rotation that just confuses me like this game's been out for 10 bloody seasons and we don't get like ltms that come out frequently like i don't care if they're new i just want something different to play because playing pubs is making me insane yeah i agree but you know what i i, I kind of stopped talking about that because anytime i talk about that in a video or like on on, on a tweet i'm being negative stop playing apex you oh know? yeah <laughs> i still play i still post apex i get money from vids so you're just being negative enjoy the game you have say so you know what respawn i love you anything you do i'm gonna agree with um who cares if we have ltms who cares let's play yeah, the exact same the exact same game mode for for two months and it's all gonna be great because apex is great and this is the best battle royale ever released and i have no complaints we're all gonna get sponsored by you know yeah, yeah. you've been fired I love from apex. the podcast <laughs> <laughs> if, i got bad news for you guys um instead of limited time modes we're probably going to get a uh, another like bloodhound story mode halfway through the point that's what they kind of did this season and so since we're gonna be in the planet geo I'm pretty sure it's going to be either a caustic story mode or a crypto story story mode. We're probably going to get instead of limited time modes. So yeah, I'm kind of sorry for that. Um, <laughs> well, that's kind of annoying. Like, okay, first off, don't get me wrong. I like the story modes. I'm totally okay with the story modes, but they're not exactly like week long. Inter like once I've done the story quest for the day, there's nothing else to do. Like, why not both? Why not intertwine them? Why not make a limited time mode where the the story objective in it that's i don't understand why how we how respawn could even possibly think about interchanging a ltm for a story mode it's not even the same it's not even it doesn't even make sense to me i just like, thought I, I, lightly but... way to go <laughs> kevin i don't know bro I don't know. maybe ea is controlling respawn who knows controlling with Ooh. how much money they're allowed to spend and what they're allowed to do right. i mean if a game of... like apex has it's, it's just a somebody in ea or, or respawn just doesn't get just doesn't get it i feel like because yeah. apex could literally so easily make i would say twice as much yeah of course it's a business you need to sell skins mm -hmm. you need to bring these cash grab events i understand that like it's a business you know people need to get paid at the end of the day, like even with all of these these cash grab events and all of these stuff, even if they have like you know limits that they could spend, investing back into your game is going to bring it more money at, in the long run. Like imagine if Apex had these crazy LTMs, you know, every other week that you know would bring in new players and bring new content ideas for YouTube for Twitch, you know, because yeah. YouTube inevitably influences how how many casual players play Apex, you know, so. <sighs> Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, maybe they want to increase the longevity of the game. And I know it sounds dumb by making the game basically boring, but like, what if they release all these modes and release all these cool skins or whatever, and they set the bar so high for themselves, then, then they're not going to know what to do next, and then the game slowly declines. Like, you ha you're going to have a really big, like, high when all these things come out, but then you're going to have an even harder drop when you don't know what else to, to make. I know there's always ideas that could come out, but again, I feel like maybe they are genuinely just wanting to stretch this game out for as long as possible because maybe it cost them so much money to make or maybe it didn't cost them so much money to make but they're making so much from it so it's like they, they invested in the game and they've made so much money like and they don't want to make anything else no, i, I agree cool. with that but like i at this point i don't even need new limited time modes just give me back some of the old ones yeah um, like they're already built 
they're like just put them back in for like at least like a week or two. The fact that we got a Halloween event with two weeks of just fucking skins. Can we talk about that for a sec? Can we can <laughs> yeah, really talk about this it. Halloween <laughs> event? What the fuck is this <laughs> Halloween event? This yeah. shit is so much ass. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the game mode, the game mode is fire. We love Shadow Four, right? But yeah. this whole monetization that they did with this event, terrible. It just looks so. Everybody knows it's just a cash grab. Yeah, dude. There's no, there's no backdrop like they've done in past seasons. There's no music nope. going on. There's no nope. limited time mode till the last week, which is recycled. But fine, whatever. I said recycled is okay. But for two weeks of it, it's just buy these skins. Halloween. Like, what? I don't yeah. know, bro. Yeah. It, to me, it's just I love this one. No, Apex is great. <laughs> I mean, as much as we, uh, as, you know, as much as we have negative things to say about it, we can all agree that it's the best, like, it is, battle royale that's have ever been made. The best movement, best shooting, it best is. everything. And other than obviously some small agree. issues. Yeah. And that's yeah. the sad part about it. Like, it's such a good game at its core. It only needs a little bit more, like, love from the devs just a, just a, just a little bit more I, I you know i wouldn't even say the devs like i i've said um, it before like it, like koala was just saying like apex legends in itself best movement best shooting like it's hands down one of the best triple a multiplayer shooters out there but their business model is bubard like i i just i don't even know how else to explain it. it's the it's the business side of things that end up dragging it down compared to other games like warzone or Fortnite, which I'm not a fan of either of those games particularly, but like at least they don't feel like Fortnite comes out with new modes like every fucking two weeks with like Batman skins or whatever it is. I kind of feel weird comparing Apex to Fortnite too because I feel like Fortnite just makes so much more money than Apex. Yeah, you know, yeah, like I feel like I mean, but it's not like Apex is like like a, a small time indie game. They're making over a billion dollars. Nah, yeah, for sure. But I mean, EE. Yeah, I mean, if Apex was published by maybe Ubisoft, Activision, uh, well, it'll be kind of the same, but well, it's Activision, pro yeah, they, they were kind of like money, money hungry too. But point, point is, is that I kind of saw this, I saw the writing in the wall a long time ago, and I've been warning people, and no one listened, and so that's why I'm not surprised. But what I'm trying to get at is that I think we can all agree that we we see Apex has potential to be like basically the best br ever but unfortunately yeah, they're being held back by ea and them wanting to make money they, they they fixed the bug i don't know if you guys know they fixed the bug that gave people more um legendary items yeah i saw that <laughs> then they then before they fix watson's um ultimate being broken and to, yeah. to me that was like wow I mean, I get it. It's a, Watson's ultimate is probably hard to code, but that just sends a really bad message that you had to announce. Oh yeah, we fixed something that helps people, but yeah. this legend being broken, you have to wait. You have to wait another Z. It's, it's kind of like being a parent, like, and I'm not a parent, so actually I don't know that. But like, we love Apex. <laughs> we talk about it every single week. We really like we love this game so much, and we just want to see it do well. We're not mad at them. We're just really disappointed. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. like yeah for sure that's it, yeah no. oh yeah wait going back to the fortnite thing by the way um i actually stopped playing fortnite because they added too much stuff so I, again i feel like adding too much stuff will be a bad thing but adding a few things since we've never gotten anything ever is a good thing yeah so. like a goldilocks like not too much but not too yeah low. exactly all right everyone thank you for joining the state of the game podcast with your host me kajana plays and kev the king and our special guest this week floating koala that is next week and until next time keep playing in the outlands be out there.